Highlight stuff. Uh, you mean like, uh, oops. So Jeff, somebody's asking about sound. Yeah, so we actually, it's actually interesting. Sound is a really hard problem. We, we, we actually have done very little work in sound other than to make some music apps because the biggest problem with sound is that when you have two or three people working on it, you know, uh, when you make a sound, everyone thinks that they caused it, right? So we were, we, you need to kind of spatialize it, or maybe everybody has to, you know, wear a headphone. Maybe there's an array of speakers, or something, you know. But but it's really weird because if I if I if I tap on this and I make a sound there, but somebody else is over there doing something else, there they, they hear the same sound. They're like, whoa, you know, why did I do? It? Why did that? Well, you sound could, happen. Could you make it so that uh, the sounds don't happen when you just click something? Sure. It could be sounds like if then well, somebody wants to play music, somebody goes and clicks on the music then. Right, but you know. but uh, a good strength of sound is being able to reinforce uh, uh, an action or a GUI or give you some other uh, additional feedback. And um, and again, because it's not steerable, it's a lot harder to steer audio than it is uh, even a visual like this, because at least I know that this is kind of you know my graphic or something like that. You know, it, it's a tough problem. It's uh, and I'm not saying it's unsolvable. It's just we haven't had the energy yet to uh, to go into that. So. Uh, that. Do you have that? Uh, it was like a biological taxonomy. Yeah, yeah. So I brought that here. So, so this is so this is cool. So this is a uh, yeah. So this actually is the entire animal kingdom, and you guys will remember kingdom final class, right? And so yeah, they browse through. Yeah, <laughs> you can browse through like this, and you know, if you've been to some museums, I don't know if the museum here has it. They, they try to do it as a giant mural of every species all broken down. So we we don't think that's the right way to do it because there are about fifty thousand species here, and it's just too impossible to to do it that way. So we'd rather show the hierarchy and let you open and close branches as necessary. So of course, you know, we go to chordata, the vertebrates, and then we go to mammals, and then we can go further down here. Yeah. Just like that. And this is, uh, because you're navigating down, rather than trying to getting this entire thing blasted at you, it, uh, it really helps with, uh, with your understanding of the structure, the relationships between each of these. Rather than, to me, it was just a big memorization exercise when I was trying to learn this stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know that's literally that one branch that takes us all the way down to this, right? I know, yeah. <laughs> can you get another species? Up? Or, you know, I can go over to here and see, you know, how we try to keep it the same level, right? The same depth in the hierarchy. This hierarchy only goes about seven or ten, ten deep, but it gets wide very quickly, right? So if I expanded each one of these out, it becomes huge. I mean, the funny thing is, uh, if we go to like uh, rodents, it's uh, it's really funny, of course. Uh, you know, and you know. They're just, there's so many on the rodents. Uh, I don't know if actually it's it's actually because of the diversity of species, or it's because we do so much research in rodents that we're able to actually right. differentiate between so many so many different ones. Right? No, there's so many here. I'm a latecomer. What are we looking at? <laughs> we're looking at a, a new way to browse uh, the uh, the animal te the animal kingdom taxonomy. Yes, it's, it's well, it's a, it's a combination. We and this is a really new kind of uh, of screen that actually can handle multiple inputs at the same time. Um, and one of the real benefits of that is that it's it's really easy to use, and it really can let you access information in much more sophisticated ways without making it hard. So, so could you, like, I could work on one whole branch while you're working on a whole. You other could. Branch. This app is a little bit more designed for one person. Uh, some of the other things we had uh, a little better. What do you do to go oh, there? So, yeah. So you, you have to grab the. This app is a pretty old app. You, have, you kind of grab the background and. There's a disclosure triangle here to keep uh, opening and closing branches. It's not the best. Ah, uh, yes. The gym near <laughs> Favorite. <laughs> Favorite <laughs> Nesso menu. Right. How are you moving, like, faster? Oh, I just am used to it, that's all, so. I mean, I, I, won't, I won't lie to you, there's definitely a, a, a skill, but the, the learning curve is much smaller than the, than the other systems, and the benefits you're able to potentially tap into is, is huge. Yeah. So this is neat because again, we don't have a. There's no database of images. What we do is just come up with a good image query. But if we get a wrong answer, you know, something we can cycle through. Uh, 
they can cycle through other results here. Oh yeah. Oh, we have those. So it's actively searching. Yeah, exactly. It's a, which is pretty cool. So I can actually tap and find another representative image here. Do you have all? You're accessing like the internet for that? Yeah. They're all in this. Like, no, we have some cache, but. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Jeff, do you just use Google Images? Yeah, so we do a, a, a very carefully crafted Google Image query, uh, which seems to produce pretty good results.